Hey guys, Doug B here, your average axe wielding hack. Welcome to Preset of the Week, where I highlight either one of the factory presets or presets created by third party creators. Now we are still having fun at the factory, so go ahead and open up your Axe FX3, your FM3, or your FM9 to preset 53, Brit Silver. Let's listen to a little sample. <laughs> All right, it's my good friend, the random number generator again. All right, let's plug in zero in the minimum, 383 in the max, and hit generate. 53. All right, let's check it out. So I checked, and on preset number 53 on both units is Brit Silver. They basically look the same, but there is one small difference, though. There's a multi-delay block on the Axe FX3 version, and it is not in the FM3 version. But this multi-delay is not active in any scene. You'd have to activate it with a foot switch. So they're essentially the same. Now, one of the differences, though, that you can see is on the Axe FX3, it jumps between, oh, around 51 and 55%. On the FM3, it is hovering close to the red line here, it's going between, oh, say around 79% and 81%. Look at there, 81.3%. So it is starting to hover on the red line. According to Yek's guide to fractal amps, the Brit Silver is modeled from the 00W Lurkst Omega slash Marshall 2555 Silver Jubilee. There is a note that says, our reference amp for the Silver Jubilee is actually not a Silver Jubilee. It's a Lurkst Omega that Alex Lifeson gave me. Here's a snippet from Yek's write-up. Brit Silver, based on Marshall's Silver Jubilee. 1987 was Marshall's 25th anniversary. To celebrate, they released the Silver Jubilee. Model 2555 was a 100-watt Jubilee. 2550 was 50 watts. It looks very classy with its chrome mirrored panel and silver tolex. The Jubilee is a valuable amp listed 19th on Vintage Guitar's list of most valuable amps. Marshall still has a recently released Vintage Reissue 2555X and Mini Jubilee in its product line. Okay, let's take a look at this preset more in depth. It has eight scenes. TV, Lurkst, Pre-Rolla 55, Checkered Fane, TV Dry, Lurkst FX, Pre-Rolla, and Checkered Dry. Now, if we take a look at the FM3 scenes, the one that's different, scene six on the Axe FX3 has Lurkst FX. Scene six on the FM3 has Lurkst Dry. So that's the only other uh, difference that I can see. Now, besides the in and the out blocks, it has 11 blocks. Wah, phaser, drive, amp, cab, pitch, chorus, flange, delay, multi-delay, and reverb. Now, there are quite a few effect blocks that are not active in this preset. The wah block, the phaser block, the drive block, the pitch block, the flange block, and the multi-delay block. You would activate them with a foot switch, and the wah, you know, it would get activated with an expression pedal. In the amp block, channel A, which is the Brit Silver, with these settings, bass is dropped a little bit, mid is up just a hair, that's used for scenes one and five. Channel B, which has everything bumped up just a scotch, that's used in all the other scenes. Cab block is using Factory 2, number 578, a 4x12 Brit TV 121 C1 ML in channel A. And that's used in scenes one and five. Channel B uses two cabs, Factory 2, number 753, a 4x12 Lurkst R&RA, and Factory 2, number 743, a 4x12 Lurkst 160E. That's in channel B, and it's used in scenes 2 and 6. Channel C has one cab, Legacy number 54, 4x12 Pre-Roll of 55 M160 ML. That's used in scenes 3 and 7. Channel D is using Legacy number 145, a 4x12 Marshall CB FN42 Mix OH.
That is used for scenes four and eight. The chorus block uses the dimension three type in channel A and is used in scene six. Delay is using the analog stereo type in channel A and is used in scenes one through four and scene six as well. Reverb uses the rich hall type in channel A and is used in scenes one through four. Now I'll demo all eight scenes and we'll list the scene names on screen and we'll also show which unit was used. <laughs> So there you have it guys, factory preset 53 Brit Silver, which celebrates Marshall's 25th anniversary model, the uh, Silver Jubilee. Lots of thick fat Marshall-y goodness in there and once again, Fractal saves you from spending thousands of dollars on one amplifier. Hey, Sweetwater has them in stock if you have an extra 2300 odd dollars burning a hole in your pocket. All right, now last Friday, I had to take a look at the Klon clone because it was part of the new factory update. So this Friday, we are going to take a look at using FR, FRs versus using a power amp and cab. Now you don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, we'll see you on Friday.